Well, hello, grade three. Welcome back to our project-based learning. This is week number four. Today, we are going to take another step in our journey to the moon. We're gonna continue working on creating our program in Scratch that tells the story of our journey to the moon. This week, we're gonna work on the launch scene when we launch the rocket into space. So we're gonna need to get our rocket and we're gonna to need to get a picture of the Earth and we're gonna put it together in Scratch. So that's what our launch scene is going to be. So let's go ahead and talk about how to do that in Scratch. So step one is to be is to go to Tinkercad like we did before. Now, if you have downloaded your rocket picture, you can skip this step and just upload your rocket picture right from your computer to Scratch. But here's my rocket. I'm gonna click on it, I can see it. I'm gonna tinker it. It's gonna take a minute to open up. And as you can see, I have it way over here. Remember the reason why we, whoops, the reason why we had done that is so we could get our rocket without this background. But if you didn't do that perfectly, that's okay. We can still get a good picture of our rocket using some editing tools. So get a view of your rocket that you like. Okay, I like that one, that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is go to send to, picture of your design, I'm gonna click on this download locally button. And then I'm gonna choose a place to save it to. So I'm gonna do all that. Okay, so I hit save, my rocket is now saved. I'm gonna go into Scratch. Now, this is a big thing, I've been having lots of issues um, with people not being signed into Scratch and losing their work. So I wanna make sure that you do this. When you get the Scratch, please click the sign in button and click sign in. You know you're signed in if you can see your picture and your username up here. If it still says sign in, you're not signed in, you need to re-click it again, maybe refresh your screen, restart your computer but none of your work will be saved unless you are signed in. So please, please, please make sure you're signed in. Then we're gonna click Create. And it's gonna create a Scratch program for me. And I can see I know I'm still signed in. Then I'm gonna click on a title for it. So um, maybe Rocket Blast Off. And I'm gonna hit share. You have to make sure you share it. Cause again, if I've had some issues where people have submitted the projects but they haven't shared it, which means I can't see it. So please make sure you hit this orange share button. So I hit the orange share button. It's gonna say my project is now shared. I can go back and click the see inside button again and go back to my code. So you have to make sure you're signed in and the project shared. Next step, we're going to delete our cat. Like we always do, cause we don't need a cat in a rocket. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a new sprite. So I'm gonna move out of the way a little bit and we're gonna click upload because we wanna upload our rocket. So I'm gonna click upload and there's my rocket picture. And there it is. And you can see my rock picture. It's got a little bit of the background still in it. It's kind of big. So I might wanna shrink it down a little bit. So I'm gonna shrink it down to let's say 50. I don't need that big. And you can see it's got this white background on it too. So we're gonna get rid of all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Costumes and I'm gonna change the fill dropdown to this slash forward slash red. And then I'm gonna click on the fill tool. And when I click on this white background here, it goes away. Then I'm gonna use my eraser tool to erase the part of the backdrop that I didn't want. And now I just have my rocket. So now I have my rocket. The next thing I need to add is the earth. Now we can go to Google and search for a picture of the earth and you can pick your own image and save it and upload it. Or you can use the one that I'm going to provide for you. But if you're going to save it and upload it, remember the way you do that is you pick a picture, you right click on it and we want to click save image as. Um, so that way we have the image saved and we can tell it's saved because it'll have a crazy title and then it'll have JPG. 
you could change the title if you want to make it easier to find. So I'm going to go back to my program and I'm going to upload my picture of the Earth and create a new sprite. So there it is. Now you notice it's got a black background as it's importing. I don't want it to have a black background. So I'm once again going to get rid of that black background just like we got rid of the other background. I'm going to go into costumes and notice mine has a whole bunch of pictures that came with it because it's what's called an animated GIF. It will spin for us if we do the code that makes it spin. So that's an add-on. You can decide to do that code. But if you just want to do the first picture, you can do the first picture. Again, we're going to do the fill with the forward slash and we're going to change to the fill tool. I'm going to click it and look, the background's gone and we just now have the earth. I'm going to do it for all the other ones because I'm going to make it spin later. There we go. So now none of my pictures have the background and you can see it's going to look like it's spinning. We have to add code in to make it do that. So speaking of code, let's go back to our rocket and look, it's behind the earth. We don't really want it behind the earth, so we might want to move things around a little bit. So I'm going to click on the rocket and when I click on it, I want to get it so it is in front of the earth. There we go. So now I click and move it and it's in front of the earth. Whatever was the last thing you clicked on is what stays in front. So there's my rocket. And I wanted to get it to look like it's blasting off and flying into space. So the other thing I want to add in is a background of space. So I'm going to click on my backdrops. And I'm going to just click on the button here that says choose a backdrop. And we want space. And stars looks good to me. There we go. So now it looks like I got my rocket, I got the earth, and I have my stars. It is now time to add some code. So I'm going to go to my code window. And I want the event when green flag clicked. And what I want to do is first I want to make sure the rocket starts on the Earth. So I position the rock where, where I want it to be. And then I'm going to go to motion and we're going to go to that location. And the computer will automatically put in the location wherever the rocket is. So if I move it over here and put in go to location, those are the numbers. But I want it to be here on the Earth, ready to launch into space. So I'm going to put that in there. Then what I want to do is get it to glide up a little bit. So I'm going to put it in a new spot. And again, the numbers change for me. So I can just put this right in here, put in the location. And I can choose how long I want it to take for it to get there. So one second's fine. We could always change it later if we want. And if you want to add in more animations like fire and all that stuff, you can add that in. But we're just doing it simple for now. Then I'm going to have it turn a little bit. So I have to decide, do I want it to turn to the left or the right? I think I want it to turn to the left. And we have it turn 15 degrees. Uh, the only thing is, if I'm going to have it turn to the left 15 degrees, I have to make sure at the very end of the program that it's pointing up. So the way we're going to do that is use this block here, point in a direction. And we're going to put that right up here at the top so that way we know our rocket is pointing straight up. If I change this, it'll change the direction the rocket's pointing. So there it's pointing at 45. I think I want it to point at 90 and then turn, okay? So then I'm going to have it glide a little bit further and put that block in. Maybe we'll do that for half a second. 0.5 and then maybe turn a little bit more again to the left. So let's see what that looks like. And it looks like our rocket has launched into space. And that's the end of the project if you don't want to go any further. You can copy your link and submit it in Google. If you want to go a little bit further and make the Earth spin, we have to click on the Earth sprite and go in and add some code to that. And it's pretty simple code. I think we can all do this. So we're going to go to events. When green flag clicked, we're going to go to control. We want a forever loop because it's going to loop it forever and ever. And all I'm going to do is go to looks and say next costume and put that in here. So now when I look at my project and I hit green flag, it looks like the earth is spinning. Now it's spinning really, really fast. If you want to slow it down, we can put a weight in there and have it wait. Let's say 0.5 of a second, slow it down a little bit. That's a little bit better because the Earth doesn't spin that fast. And we hit our green flag and we can see our rocket launching. So that is the end of the animation. I think we can all do this. 
If you have any questions, send me a message. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.